Hey, I'm Dr. Ariel Foster, physical therapist and yoga teacher. I want to take you through a couple of yoga-based shoulder stability drills. So the first one is on hands and knees. And you start off in table position. Shift your weight from the right to the left. And try to find that even central spot. We're gonna do cat and cow, but instead of having it be from the low back or the pelvis, we're gonna really emphasize the upper back. We're just gonna do three rounds. So as you inhale, sag the space between the shoulders, pull breath in, pull your chest forward, and as you exhale, push the floor away, lean into your hands, and try to round your upper back like a crab. Inhale, sag. Exhale, push your mouth. Inhale, sag. Exhale, push and round. Good, and then inhale to a neutral position. So the neutral is not sagging and it's not pushing, but your shoulder blades are flat on their back. And I want you to shift onto, uh, shift your left hand to the center of your mat, right below your nose. Shift your weight onto the left hand, and with your thumbs up, bring your right arm straight out in front of you to 12 o'clock. Keep the shoulder blade flush on your back. Lower the right arm, bring it to one o'clock. Lower, bring it to two o'clock. Lower, and thumbs up, bring it to three o'clock. Keep pushing with the left arm. And lower down, switch hands. Right hand pushes down. Still in this table position, nose over your knuckles. Keep the shoulder blade flush onto your back. Left arm to 12 o'clock. Left arm, thumbs up to 11 o'clock. Left arm, thumbs up to 10 o'clock. Left arm, thumbs up to 9 o'clock. Keep pushing the floor away and then slowly lower down. Switch sides and this time we're going to push and then twist. So right arm as high to the sky as you can go and lower and push. Right hand down, push, push, push. Left arm as high to the sky as you can go and lower. Push, 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 left arm. Let this be strong and stable. Right shoulder blade stacks over the left. And right hand, left arm, strong and stable. Right arm pushes and lower down. Come on to your elbows. And you can also do this one with a blanket under your belly. You're gonna pull your low ribs in so that you're expanding in this upper waistline in the back. And I want you to kind of breathe into the upper back, right? Take a couple of breaths like that, pushing the floor away with your elbows. So this is Sphinx pose, right? Uh, propped up onto your forearms, but Sphinx pose with some energetic pushing. Once you've got the breathing down here, chin stays down, so the back of your neck is long. Come onto your right fingertips out in front of you strong through the glutes, pushing through that left arm. And if you feel comfortable, lift your right arm off the floor. Lower down, press the right elbow down, draw the ribs up, shift your weight onto the right, come onto your left fingertips. And if you feel comfortable, lift your left arm up off the floor. And lower down, elbow down, shift onto your left, fingertips to the right, Float your right arm up off the floor and lower down. Shift onto your right. Float the left arm up off the floor. Good. Come on down. Give yourself a rest. Rest your cheek to one side. Bend your knees and just windshield wipe your feet side to side. Good. Bring the hands back beside, uh, beside your ribs and slowly push up as a unit coming back to the table position. All right, that's gonna be it for today. I'll add some more shoulder stabilizing sequences on another day.